Hello everyone, I'm here with uh, Mohammed Shirazi who I bumped into him a few hours ago in uh, Idlib and now we're in Aleppo together. He works with Oasis, uh, a charitable organization out of Chicago uh, and he delivers medical equipment and supplies to uh, Syria. So uh, I wanted to ask him, since he's been staying in, in uh, one of the hospitals in Syria, about his assessment of the situation, the medical situation in Aleppo. So if you would listen to him. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. First of all, Jazakallah khair, Brother Muhammad. Uh, brothers and sisters, you have no idea how badly we need medicine here. When uh, Brother Muhammad bought medicine, uh, it, I think it uh, opened the hearts of many people when they saw the truck uh, coming in carrying medicine. Uh, it's life-saving. You are literally saving lives. If just today, I think uh, so far what I've heard now is about 15 bombings. And uh, I don't know if you visited some of the rooms, uh, I was just downstairs in the surgical room. I went, I was all the way in the basement. There is a amaliyat, yeah, sur surgery is going on. You will literally see people missing limbs, completely gone. And uh, the, the, you cannot do more. I mean, there's so much that needs to be done because Bashar, he is literally, literally, he is bombing civilians, people, literally babies. Women, children, massage people are praying, and boom, a, a, a barrel bomb will fall. It's these are not terrorists. These are not people with uh, sedah, yeah, weapons. They are people just praying. Massages are being targeted. Hospitals, schools. I went to at least 50 hospitals in Idlib, in Aleppo, in Hama, and also schools all over Idlib and Aleppo. It is unbelievable. Doctors are being targeted through snipers inside hospitals. You will, if you go to the hospitals, you will actually see sniper and bullet marks all over uh, hospital, uh, our patients or emergency rooms. They are right now, if you, the, the next floor downstairs then below us, they don't have enough room to keep bringing victims, the, the, the injuries. They don't have enough people. So please, brothers and sisters, keep supporting Brother Muhammad. You, Allah Azza wa Jal, you will see this on the Day of Judgment, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, thank you, Brother Muhammad. And obviously, all as I always say, support all charitable organizations that are trustworthy, that have proven themselves to deliver insight to the people who need. Thank you very much. Jazakum Allah khair.